Hi everyone, it's me Jen from I'm Just Like You and today I want to do a very quick video on um, how I spot clean my brushes. What does that mean? That means how I actually keep my brushes clean in between the deep cleaning process that I always do. So I know it's like a pain to actually grab all of your brushes and then wash it and maybe also you don't have that many brushes but you don't want to always wash it um, you don't either have the time or you just used it and you don't want to bust out all of the materials to wash your brushes so what I do is I actually spot clean my brushes in between those times and that helps um, keep not only my face clean and protected from breakouts but it also helps with keeping my brushes in really great condition. So what I do is I actually use the MAC Brush Cleanser and it is this really cute pink liquid right here. And actually this is really affordable I think because this lasts me a long long time. Um, I know a lot of you guys have actually commented on my video saying that um, you actually use um, alcohol instead of this which I personally have never used but if that works for you that's great but for me I find that um, alcohol is a little bit um, drying and it kind of strips away all of the natural moisture that the brushes need and um, the more drying you make your brushes um, you're going to lose the longevity of its life so I think that brushes are a great investment but you don't want to um, shorten its life at all. So I find that this one works really well and what I do is I actually grab a paper towel so a full size paper towel and then I fold it into fours like this and instead of pouring the brush cleanser onto the brush or onto the paper what I do is I actually put it into a spray bottle like this one. I actually got this at um, Walmart in the travel section. This was probably like 49 cents. And what I do is I pour the cleanser into this little bottle and then I dilute a little bit of it, about this much, of alcohol just so that I can actually um, use more of the product and get its money's worth. So what I do is I spray the paper just to mist it. And when you spray it like that, the product is actually just kind of floating on top of the paper instead of soaking. And then I'll take my brush. Then I'll take a dirty brush just like this one. It's pretty dirty. And I'll just go in circular motions like this on the paper. And then once a section gets really dirty, I'll move on to like a cleaner section. And I just go in circular motion really softly. I am not um, going aggressively. I'm not hurting the bristles. And then I'll go to a dry area and just make sure to get it a little bit um, dry. And as you can see, look, it is like really, really clean. And I mean, of course, it's not as clean as, as if you were to deep clean it with um, soap, olive oil, and conditioner, but it's still clean enough for you to actually go on to the next color or um, just to use it until you do want to deep clean your brushes. This dries within five seconds, like it's already dry, so it's easy to use. The smaller brushes dry faster. And um, what I love about this cleanser and the way that I spot clean is that there isn't any type of oil residue that's left on the brush. So um, cleaning your brushes like this actually not only helps your face, but it also protects your makeup. Um, you're not going to go back into your makeup with a brush that has oil or a brush that is dirty and causing the product that you're using to have like a glaze over that starts to oxidize the product. Also, it's not causing the products to be contaminated. And also for your face, it's actually making it cleaner and um, your application will look much better. What I find that is really important are like my concealer brushes. Like you don't think that it's that dirty, but you don't want to use your concealer brush on your acne to conceal it. I mean, everyone has some type of skin problem that we want to hide and you don't want to hide it and then you're using the brush and you're contaminating it with the dead neutrophils and the um, basically the pus and then after that have it set onto the side and the next day use it again that's going to just continue to contaminate your face so what I like is I always always clean my concealer brushes and then once this side gets dirty I just flip it onto another side 
and it is still a little bit wet so you can actually clean all your brushes on just using one paper towel. This is my foundation brush. It gets out absolutely everything and you can actually see the brush become white or the color that it needs it was right after you clean it. See? Super, super fast and this is such a great way to save some time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that short demo tutorial how to spot clean your brushes. But if you guys haven't seen my video on how I deep clean all of my brushes, then please click right here on this video and it will lead you right to it. Alright, so if you guys have any requests on any other videos, then please leave it down below in the comments. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified for the next one. Alright you guys, I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye!